Well, I think that, that the reason that it's really special here is because of the individual people in our department and how dedicated they are to, you know, kind of passing on the excitement of astronomy and the knowledge of how to do astronomy to, to their students, um, you know, kind of at all levels. And in terms of uh, graduate students, I, I, I think that, you know, it's, it's really almost like your academic parent when you have an advisor in grad school. It's um, a very close relationship. You spend a lot of time with that person and they really pass along to you all the knowledge that they have. And I, I think that the faculty here are, are very, um, very committed to that idea of really passing along the gauntlet and treating students not like um, students, but like collaborators, like people that we're working together to understand new things about the universe. I study um, really the whole picture of the universe, how the gas and galaxies and dark matter and everything is spread out in the universe and how that changed over all of time. And in my teaching, I'm very focused on you know, sort of the early universe and the big picture of why the universe is here and why it's expanding and what all of that means. But in my research, I look at something known as quasar absorption lines, which isn't really a very familiar topic in astronomy, but it's actually a very important topic because you can see clouds of gas, the mass of the moon, and you can see the light, um, you can see them incredibly well, even back to the very beginnings of after galaxies formed, um, using quasars as flashlights to probe the light. You look at the spectra of the quasars and you can see all the different chemical elements that are present, how they're moving and figure out the temperatures, density, um, and metal content in the gas, even without seeing light, right? So it's a very sensitive way of mapping the whole volume of the universe and kind of seeing the big picture. Well, I think the, the best thing about being here is, again, the people um, that are not just out for themselves, but dedicated to the idea of a community, you know, kind of working together so that everyone can be their best. Um, so uh, there's a lot of different topics that are worked on, practically everything you can think of. Someone is, is researching it and we're all, you know, very dedicated to teaching classes and passing on astronomy to, you know, both students at Penn State. We teach a large fraction of the student body astronomy here and also to the community in our different outreach ventures. Well, I, I don't treat all grad students the same, and that may sound bad, but what I mean by that is that people have different goals, different needs, different styles, and I am happy to adapt to that you know, to let people really kind of work at their, on their own and come to me when they need assistance with something. Um, or I'm also very open to a sort of open mentorship where we meet every day and we really work together uh, very closely on things. Um, and so um, that seems to work out well in order to, you know, sort of help people to achieve whatever their goals happen to be.